deep dive into middle school secular resources, and I'm gonna do that with Elevate Science from Savas Learning. This is grade seven. This is available from grades K to eight, and there is a program that transitions over into high school as well from Savas Learning, but we're gonna talk about and get into all that, plus the online component to this program, which is pretty massive. We're gonna do all that. Grab a drink, grab a snack. Let's get to it. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Arlene with Arlene and Company. As I said before, we're going to get into Elevate Science or Establish Learning. If that sounds familiar to you, it is because I did a Mark Perspective curricula review as well of grade six. It was also my first impressions. Obviously, I will continue to update you on how we continue to like it, how what it's working, what it's not in my um, update videos, which I will be doing. There's one that's going to come at the end of September as my first quarterly update, it's gonna happen. Anyway, so Elevate Science, it is a secular, um, built for the classroom, but very easily translated for um, homeschoolers. So yeah, you don't have to I'm worry about going that. through the housekeeping because I know this is the questions I get asked all the time. I purchased the homeschool bundle from Rainbow Resource. It comes with the one year access of the online component, which is all your teacher resources, quizzes, interactive labs, everything. And I'm gonna take you through all that as well. So stick around with me because I'm gonna give you a complete tour of the online part. Um, so I'm gonna get through the book text uh, a bit quickly. So what you receive in the bundle is you receive the student um, text, which um, your student can write in. Um, and this is what you get, plus a card um, to go ahead and request access for the year. It takes I, done it, I did it with my perspective, I did it with this. It took like maybe two days tops to get my access. So it wasn't like a big gigantic wait or anything like that. They were very quickly. I think the first time with my perspective was one day. This was like over a weekend and it was still pretty quickly. Um, no, and I will mention this in just a little bit because I was a little concerned. I'm not gonna, yeah, Princess Hall was, and Scott's foreman is what they were normally uh, went by before. I was concerned because in um, when I received this and I got access, I could not access a lot of the interactive stuff, um, interactive lab and stuff. And to me, that was what attracted me to this program and why I wanted to take a closer look and see what components we were gonna use it. Am I gonna use this from beginning to end, all of, all of it? Absolutely not. You guys know I have other core curricula that I use throughout the year. If you haven't seen my curricula review video, look up top and take a look at that uh, for my sixth, seventh grader. Um, but I do pull, I use curriculas as a guide, as a resource. So I pull and take from multiple ones. And I know the next question is, how do you do that, Arlene? I do have an old series of Plan With Me over on IGTV, but I am gonna pick that up when things slow down a little bit with all my reviews, probably in another month or so. And I'm gonna start doing my um, Plan With Me's again. So you can see like the madness in action. I got my husband involved, which is a computer engineer. <laughs> like, hello. It's like right there next to me. And, um, I use instead of Safari, because I use a Mac, instead of Safari, I use the Chrome and then I had zero issues. So if you decide that this is something for you and you have issues accessing any uh, of the Savas Learning interactive parts, um, just switch your browser and that worked for me. Like I, I wasted so much time trying to do all kinds of different things and troubleshooting and it, I just had to go to a different browser. First topic, I'm just gonna go through the topics really quick so you know what is covered, in, um, for example, in seventh grade. So it, it's interdisciplinary um, and GSS aligned. Um, so obviously you're gonna go through several systems, not just one topic for the year, which is uh, um, kind of like the customary in homeschool curriculas. Um, the cell system, human body system for topic two, uh, reproduction and growth ecosystem, populations and community and ecosystem, distribution of natural resources, human impacts on the environment, wave and ele electromagnetic radiation, um, electricity and magnetism, information technologies as your topic 10, and then you go into your introduction for this text. Again, this is the student um, um, portion of it, and with the digital access, you can let your um, child do some of the stuff in, um, online if you want them, or just go ahead and print it. I'll, again, I'll 
show you all that after we're done going through the, the student breakdown test. of how it starts. It starts with an essential question, then a quest kickoff. So this is going to make a little bit more sense um, when I show you the online component. So yeah, one meets the other, right? And then the Uconnect lab, you know, what can you, for example, how is your body organized? And so there's um, that, there's a case study, there's a you engineer it, um, there is you demonstrate, and the you demonstrate is like that final type of assessment, but instead of like this written just um, test or something like that, which they have those available as well, you are demonstrating your knowledge with doing, right? So it's, it's a lot of like do to learn, which I really appreciate as someone with a, a science major and in the science field most of my adult career. All right, so, um, the lessons are broken up in that literacy connection to it. There's also math connections throughout. Um, so like math toolbox, um, extraordinary science, and then goes from there. And then you see this quest check-in. So you have the quest kickoff and then you have a quest check-in. Um, then for example, you engineer it for your STEM. Um, you have a case study, so it really brings in real life situations. So, and here you're gonna see the instructions, like go to the Savage um, for your digital access, you know, the video that you're gonna do, the interactivities. So these are the icons you're gonna see. So video, interact, highlight of what's going on for this. So this is the illustrator, virtual lab, living your lot. I really, really like the virtual lab, especially if you can do a combination of virtual lab and obviously physical as well. So it's pretty um, rad. So if you're concerned about like doing a lot of physical um, experiments, you can um, take that route. Assessment and the e tax Again, I'm gonna show you those closer. Then the hands-on labs, components, you connect, you investigate, you demonstrate. So it's really teaching them how to think like a scientist from the get-go. So building on those um, concepts of, you know, the research, the observation, the, um, the record keeping, um, the analysis and things like that from the get-go. So when they transition into high school, it's kind of just second nature of the way that they think about these things. All right. So elevate your thinking. Elevate science takes the science to a whole new level and lets you take ownership of your learning. Anyway, so this is just an introduction of all the sections of what they are looking at. You know, explore your world, um, make the connections, focus on inquiry, enter the lab. So that is the sequence that they're gonna um, follow up with each unit. There is like academic vocabulary, reading check, and there's like other subjects like woven in, like reading, writing, and things like that um, as well. So here's your first topic. This is a very colorful and very vivid um, work text. So I appreciate that, especially with ADHD kiddos. Um, sometimes things can be too overwhelming if it's too much on the page, but they do really well when there's like a lot of pictures and then a small amount of text and that is that uh, what this gives them. So here for topic one, you will see that there's six lessons in the first topic. Um, first, um, starting off in most science curricula is gonna start with some sort of review. So even though these things may have been covered in sixth grade and stuff, so they're gonna be covering some things again. So structure and function of a cell, cell structures, and then you have you investigate lab after each lesson so it's not like you have to do entire unit and then have a lab or something like that no each lesson has the opportunity to do it you investigate lab and then at the end of like five lessons you have you engineer it for a big like engineering type of um, activity um, and then um, at the end you have like the you demonstrate type of thing here you have for your online access like I said and you all will talk that when we see it over on the online um, portion of this video. So here is your quest kickoff. I really like how it's just laid out in sections. This makes it very um, easy to plan ahead. Is this an open and go curricula? No, I don't feel like most curriculas are open and go or they should be. <laughs> I know people like throw rocks at me for saying that, but there's just certain things that just requires prep work and you kind of just have to be okay with it. But I know that everybody's different. stuff can also be self-directed as they get into this level because, you know, you're talking about a grade seven child. All right, so um, quest kickoff, you know, the phenomenon is um, lined out of what you're gonna talk about. There's like um, real news clips and stuff like that throughout, which I think is pretty rad. And that's how they connect a lot of the stuff too. So they will start off with a bit of, a video in the um, quest kickoff and then interactivity as well so cells on display um, you know I here for example they already have an activity again you are writing on this so you can see in lesson one what would your exhibit teach the public about cell theory consider the challenges of explaining and modeling things that are hard to 
observe. So this is the quest that each time they're going to have some certain quests to accomplish. So it's like a goal. It's like a game. It's whatever you want to paint it as, but they're going to have this like project um, align as a quest and then it's going to take them through the steps through each lesson. So in lesson two, this is your, you know, your leading question and the hands on lab. Then you're going to have a quest check in the interactivity in lesson four, you have this and then in lesson five, and then you get to quest check in again in lesson six, hands on lab and the interactivity, um, as, as follows. So here, for example, you have the first, you connect lab. And again, you're gonna be able to see these things online as well. How can you make observation using different tools and describe an object? What can you see? Background, they'll give you that. Observation Background sciences are able to make often depend on the types of tools available. In this activity, you'll make and compare observations of an object using different tools. So it starts like very like, you know, getting into that science brain um, and reviewing these concepts. And instead of just telling it, it okay. to the test, so here is the first lesson. So you started off with a quest and setting the stage with a hands-on activity, and then you're going into your first lesson. So I think that's pretty rad and kind of turns things a little bit upside down for me, and I enjoy that. Um, structure and functions of the cell. You have the guiding questions, you have the connections, so you have the literacy, determine the central ideas, and um, you have an activity online, which I'll show you after, uh, where it's going to show you the, um, how to pick up the main topic or main idea idea in science text so in a science article or things like that and putting into practice related to the um, topic at hand um, you have the vocabulary that is highlighted I like how the things um, is a larger print and then things that are important are highlighted for you I really appreciate the layout of these page and this is something that probably a lot of people don't really notice or talk about but you know with a neurodiverse family um of various various letters i'm not going to get into it um it, I, these are things that i notice and i point out especially with my kiddos in mind um so i really appreciate the breakdown of the page and how it's laid out i know that you know for people that will get what i'm talking about they'll get what i'm talking about then you connect it Circle the different structures you observe in the photograph and you have the, you know, the text on here. Then you have a reading check um, as well and then that introduction there. Again, you have the interactivity that you can take it further into the online component. And then you have the icons that point you, okay, you're gonna have a video here. So here are the cell theory. And we're gonna see that as well. As well. Early observations, literacy connections, and then, you know, um, a whole big timeline and diagrams uh, stuff. So it's not just text heavy and it, it has a lot of diagrams, pictures and things like that, that really um, feel that it just uh, does a really great job of painting a picture. Here's a math toolbox um, and incorporating some math into your science, especially, I mean, like this is a good prep for, you know, like chemistry. Oh, it's not like him. <laughs> anyway, so here um, you have the first lesson check and um, identify, describe patterns, um, engage in ar ar argument from evidence, structure and function. And, and you can do this like, you know, and depending where your kiddo is at, um, just because you have all these pages and all these activities and assignments and lessons and check-ins and tests and quiz and whatever, doesn't mean you have to do everything. Just, you know, adjust it for your kiddo if this is something that speaks to you. Um, extraordinary science, here. activity to form for, and then you go into your next lesson. The next lesson follows the same, but the activities are gonna be different, like here, for example, you have, um, you know, all, everything labeled except for a couple of things, and then you, they will investigate that. And um, in the text itself, you'll be right there as it's highlighted, so, you know, they're not getting lost. So like, okay, where was it again? So it's kind of like leading them into it. And then there's the step-by-step -step process. Here is the last lesson in this topic, um, in the first topic. As you can see, it just follows through. So um, you kind of just could pace it. There is a pacing guide um, in your online component if you want to do that this is a case study um, I really appreciate as a registered nurse um, you know case studies and uh, was a thing <laughs> let's just put it that it was a thing we had a lot of them right and then we had to do care plans and all that stuff so I do appreciate how they um, wove this in there with the case studies the mighty mole rat and has this and then you have um, the questions and stuff but um, the way that the questions are worded is basically telling you the purpose of it of what is trying to accomplish so infer cause and effect 
plan investigation design solution. So it's not just giving a question, but making that connection, right? Um, and then you have a topic review. So before you move on to the next topic, let's review this. Let's see if we've really understood it. Um, you know, and of course, if you're looking at this in the lower grades, it's not going to be this, <laughs> you know, it's about exposure. All right, so then you you demonstrate lab. So you have this before you go into your next topic, you are gonna yeah. demo have this um, item. So depending on what microscope you're using, this is, uh, we'll tell you right off the back, this is what your microscope, whatever, which one you have, is it supposed to be able to do. Yeah, the materials and the safety, you'll see that in a very concise, like one to two sheet thing in the printable. So it makes it super easy. Can you design and build your own microscope to examine small objects? You know, and then it gives you the background, the phenomenon, and the define the problem, define, uh, design a solution, test and evaluate your solution. I really appreciate this. And if you, obviously, if your kiddo still needs a lot of hand holding with this, that's totally fine. Totally fine and totally appreciate it. Like most kids are not independent still at this level. Um, my daughter is for the most part when it comes to science. Um, but we, you know, I'm a science nerd, so I'm still going to be all up in her business. All right. So eyes only high power lens, both lens. And then you have the, do um, documentation sheets right on here that they can go ahead and document it. So if you don't want a hundred loose things, there you go. All right. So here you go into your next topic for the example, for this topic, there's only five lessons. It gives you the breakdown. Again, this gives, makes it very simple for you to plan ahead and see what is going to be needing accomplished. All right. If you're going to do the engineering STEM project, you know, and prepare preparing ahead for that um, and where which parts to look on your online portion of it and then it follows the same sequence it um, points you to how the flow of this topic is going to go and then completing the quest so you start the quest and the complete of this quest comprehensive in a way that it approaches science in a way that I feel <sighs> let's see how do I put this doing to me doing in science for me is like the most important aspect um now i know every learner is different i'm gonna keep flipping as i talk um i know every learner is different obviously but for the most part um a good percentage of kiddos learn best by doing when it comes to science um so this to me speaks to that it speaks to our brave writer lifestyle as well um and i appreciate it um this is in the same token of how oak meadow approaches science as well is by doing you know and experiencing science and observing and researching and having that like science-minded um brain so you know your kiddos can feel inspired to become a scientist themselves like my oldest um she wants to go eat to either in conservation um conservationist or something like that so uh, and that's been her goal for a very long time anyway so this is how the whole thing goes it, as you can see is massive um i i don't expect that you will be able to get through everything maybe if you are, are very diligent <laughs> with it um but for my purposes i want to pick and choose and correlate it with like oak meadow and things like that um and mosa mac i love mosa mac and uh, but i feel like i can easily blend things with mosa mac as well um and we don't use all the sciences every single week all right so mix in, um mix it up so safety symbols um are outlined here in the appendix using um laboratory balance the appendix is pretty cool i just wanted to show you using a microscope is outlined on here using uh, making a wet mount slide my kiddos have been doing that for a while the periodic table so one of the things if you um, look on their site is that you know this is not about memorizing science scientific facts and things like that. Obviously there's certain things like, you know, most of us had to memorize a periodic table and things like that, but they really um, try to make this, um, you know, phenomenon based and that you are connecting it to real life experience and, um, making that connection Let's take in a look brain. at the online um, portion of Sava's the Elevate Science. So I'm going to go ahead into my lagging screen. It's going to show me all the products that I have. So anything that you get is just going to all, um, once they give you your access, they're going to add your courses on here. So um, if you missed my review and full walkthrough of the literature, the ELA um, program from uh, my perspective, make sure you take a look at that. I'll link it above so you can take a look at that video after this one. But we're going to focus on Elevate Science. Um, it's one thing I just wanted to point out by taking you in here is that 
if you are someone that likes to buy things way ahead, if this is something you want to do, keep in mind that your license is for a year. So you don't want to go ahead and buy it too far in advance and then lose the online access part. Um, whether you can extend it or not, I have no idea. You would have to check with them. But let's go into Browse Content and um, take a look at what you see. This automatically populates with tests only, so I always uncheck that. Um, again, you're not gonna have all these other things um, unless you buy other products from them. I do, so I'm gonna just gonna check off Elevate Science Course 2. And then here you're going to have, by media type, you can have, um, for example, content category, either by labs, activity and exercise, teacher resource, reference material and assessment. Um, um, we're going to focus on grade seven material here, um, which should filter that, but there's like some extra information that you still get. And um, as well, I'm going to go ahead and do show you some labs first. Kind of going out of order, but just know that you can type anything into the search bar that relates to whatever you're doing in that specific unit, and then it can filter out whatever you're looking for and need. So let's do the U Investigate Lab um, Behaviors and Cycles, just so you can get an idea of what you will be looking at. So this is some of the printables. There are some interactive labs here, but if you want to um, do just like a hands-on um, lab, here is where you would find the printables that is directed in the student um, notebook um, or the student text um, to go ahead and print it if you want to participate in that and some extra stuff. So here you have like the materials that you need, the safety, and then the procedure, and then like any step-by-step -step process that you have to do. And then here you can go ahead and just download it. Um, if you want to keep it digitally, you totally can. If not, you can just go ahead and print it. Um, but let's do um, now the difference with the you demonstrate lab. And remember that I pointed these parts out from the the actual text so you can see what these looks like what it looks like and the extension so here's do it yourself you demonstrate lab so the background the phenomenon um, suggested materials there's some videos and things like that plan your investigation and then there is some um, pictorial presentation if your children need that kind of guidance and things like that and then areas to go ahead and record their data and their interpretation and their conclusion will all be on here um, if you don't want to print all this stuff they can definitely just use your notebook we use a school nest notebook i hardly ever like print these things i just give them the prompts and here is um, an inquiry warm-up and you like again you saw these things um pointed out to you um throughout the course and this is like a warm-up to get everything started so how does the sense read so there's a lot of hands-on components if you use it all it's like this um when people look at textbook they think it's just book work but you really it's what you put into it because as you can see there is a lot of extensions and hands-on opportunity throughout the course so it is what you put into it so if you just do the worksheets and things like that that's all you're going to get from it um here you have the you connect and you're just going to hear my cat just whining because he wants to go outside but just ignore that sound um again the you connect lab is how can you decrease the amount of garbage in your um you throw away here's some background information the materials this is the a quest check-in so you remember at the beginning of the units you had a quest check-in um and there is a couple of different check-ins on there so here has the instructions and the um, elaborative um, background on that. So quest check in this line, you will design a structure that allows animals to safely cross a highway that is being built through a forest ecosystem near your community. So this is like really, you know, like elaborate stuff, which I really appreciate. Like it's not just your typical, here's the lemon, let's make lights type of thing. There's quite a bit to it. So here are the suggested materials. Um, I haven't found, again, um, this is something first impressions. Um, obviously, I haven't seen anything that has been like a crazy type of supply. So that's good to know. Um, again, you always have the safety precautions on here, even if there is none. And then the procedure and then the little check marks on here. So if you're printing this and they're doing step by step and being self-guided, especially a seventh grader usually can be very self-guided in these labs. Um, obviously, you do the presentation and then go from there. They can go ahead and just check them off as they go along. Um, and here, the Analyze, interpret, modeling a dam, 
um, again, and then just so you can see the difference and stuff. So these are all labs that are meant to do um, outside okay, of the so screen. We're going to go into interactive media and I'm going to show you some fun stuff. Okay. So for example, you have that quest check-in that we talked about, the interactive, why practice makes perfect. perfect. And your student can type the answers right on here. This is just basically a warm-up activity. And um, you can see here like diagrams, Department of Psychology, the muscle memory. And again, you can type your answers on here. So if you have your laptop or computer open, they can do that. Or you can just have a student notebook ready to go. Again, these are just meant as like a check-in, like a quick practice if you were in a classroom warm-up. Of course, these are written for a classroom environment. So you're just going to have to adapt and do a little bit. Um, something different um, to uh, make it make sense for a homeschool um, arena. But again, it's, it's very simple to do. So it's all divides. Um, there is some video things uh, here as well, stages. Um, and then this is like interactive. So as you can see, I am able to turn it and, you know, evaluate different parts. And then here are cell divides. Um, here you just I'm not even reading this I'm just kind of like moving it for you this is something that you would you know you could either give your kiddo access or oh it doesn't want to come back <laughs> anyway so you just move it into the correct place and then you can go ahead and check answers right on there and then there's like a very so you have like fill in you have multiple choice you have like moving diagrams and things like that but then you have a few other things as well so let's go take a look at that um, and that, again, that was the interactivity. Um, so you, these are all interactivity and then you have the view investigate lab. So these you're wondering, okay, when do I use this? Remember, this is all highlighted for you in their student text with the icon. So you will know when that is your cue that you can go ahead and do that. But also your intro to these things, um, to these units will give you that idea. So here, example, there is a video, electric current and magnetism. And these are like also like the language arts video of how they flow lab as well. are meant for demonstration purposes only. Do not okay. perform these lab investigations without adult permission and supervision. Very important, friends. Hi, I'm Mary Ellen. Right. Today we are going to complete the lab. She does quite a few um, demonstrations. Bus to have um, the wire stand upright. The ecosystem. Um, you have uh, that component to add some more multimedia to that. And, you know, again, it, it just has that same format. You know what a and relationship is, right? Um, um, of course, it's a status on my social media. <laughs> no. Anyway, so it just makes it like, you know, geared towards the age, of course. Um, and you feel like you're not teaching science alone. Um, if that's something that you just felt like you always needed a little bit more support. Um, so here, for example, let's do this. Um, you demonstrate just so you can see uh, a little bit of the mixture. But, you know, like if you hit the anatomy parts, it will be able to like interact with those as well. Here she is again, and she's showing you all the supplies, the and then she will go ahead through the entire experiment to show you this what you're sure doing and what should be safe. happening. Do a quest kickoff. So this is when you're starting off the units and um, just to get like the kiddos excited about what they're doing. This is, for example, the STEM quest information technology. And then here you can see there's instructions. What's your favorite type of music? Anyway, so it, it's, it's pretty fun um, how they like switch it up and do it in different ways. Um, you engineer it. That's another component. Obviously, we could be here all day exploring all the different parts of the online database, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what is available from this side because a lot of times people are like, do I need this? Do, can I just use the, the student text? Now you're going to see what you would be giving now, up if you don't get minutes. this component. So each lab is, can be quite different. There's ones that, you know, you're just like moving parts of, uh, you know, of an organ and things like that and um, all kinds of fun stuff. You also have some tests here if you require some type of comprehension. Maybe that's your goal. Maybe your child is going to enter school or whatever or not. And you want to give them a quiz or something additional to what the, um, the text says. You can do this um, digital type of test on here. 
and there's also ones that you can print um, as well. So then it will go ahead and tell you like you can review your progress and see where you're at. And then here's just like a five question quiz and just checking comprehension as well. So you get them used to the act of taking a test, right? Because that's something like uh, these skills that they don't necessarily get a practice on because um, we homeschool, you know, we homeschool and you tend to just um, teach towards Use mastery. Um, realize readers. Um, which you can um, be prompted with that as well. So this is the text. Let's do the quest findings one. Reflect on your museum exhibit. So this will go, again, these correlate with the lessons there and also um, will extend some of them. So here is quest finding. You would click the audio so to findings. read it. Complete the quest. All right, so then here's the phenomenon. Here's a notebook. So... You can go ahead and type or annotate or anything like that. It is asking well, you, you to do, do that. There's like the notebook. There is for taking notes or annotating. There is a glossary. So if they come across something that they do not know what it means, they can look it up right on there. So you can set up for like, you know, your students or your classroom if you want them to have like online access and do things digitally. I don't do it that way, so I don't bother. And if I want them to do something that is interactive here, I just go ahead and um, give them my laptop to work um, through it together or in certain things um, separately. Again, here's a lesson check-in. So body organization. So guiding question, how do groups of cell form interactive subsystems in the body? And then here is the connection, the liter literacy supports Arthur's claim, math, identify the equivalent expression. Then you have some vocabulary that is on here. Then you have the academic vocabulary as well. And then hands-on lab. So you have the U, um, the U investigate. Consider how the structure cells and tissues relate to their functions in the body. And then you would go to your next frame. And um, you can have it read it to you or do it by yourself. You can download the complete activity um, if you want to go ahead and do it that way and you don't have to do it interactively there. So you can hear, you can see the lesson, which you will see also in the student text. You investigate is the icon that you will see. Oh, okay, this is one that I can go ahead and look on my online. So if you look at the student text, you will be able to know what you need to pre-prep ahead of time. Um, connected circle instrument panel that a co-pilot might control. The co-pilot sits on the right side and you know just has like all kinds of different scenarios and things like that. And here's the text, hands-on lab, the academic vocabulary, all system go. So you can see what it looks like um, if you decide to print it instead. Download it and um, put part of their notebook um, or just work to it together in a printed form. You can go ahead and do that. Um, so a lot of interactive, a lot of hands-on things. Is it necessary to do all the hands-on things? I know I'm going to get that question. No. Uh, but again, there's just quite a bit that is on this side that you would kind of be missing out if you don't, if you only get the student text. I think a lot of stuff also will not fully make sense if you don't have access to all of this as well. So this is a remediation summary. Let's say you went into a topic and um, your child was just like, I don't remember this. This is like a lot of these um, things throughout here as well. So topic readiness from uh, remediation, answer the questions and review the concepts to help them prepare for the next topic. Why do organisms reproduce? So it's, if you're about to enter something and you feel like you need a little review, these are things that you would go ahead and add and Skill. do. Identify the main ideas. So this is already like connecting science and reading language arts and ELA and things like that. And um, identify the main idea and it's obviously a science topic so um you have on this you know try this underline the main idea in this passage um identify the main idea on the next and it continues on from there so this is a nice way that you can incorporate other subjects as well See, like other types of interactivities the interactivities really just mix it up quite a bit so that is something that has really stand oh, out ask for the best of this or best of that there's just no such thing it's what's best for your family and what really like resonates with you um so everything is just like a little bit different and just a little different uh mixtures and and giving you writing assignments and just a whole of lot of this i will use time will tell but i wanted to go ahead and show you that this option is out there if you want to explore it a little further and however you like to do 
All right, friends, my drink is entirely way too far from me and that was not smart. But if you have any questions, please leave them down in the captions below. If this video was helpful for you, I greatly appreciate if you go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, stick around. I, I do this like a lot, like a lot. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> let me get to the other thousand and one hats that I do. So yeah, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. You used to call me sweetheart